If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over today's six new power up expansions. Now, guys, as you guys do know from last week's video, power up expansions have now reached the 99 overall threshold. So, pretty much from now on out, all cards in this will be 99 overall. Now, should they have started that way from the beginning? Maybe the first week could have been 98s, and then after that, been 99s. I don't think they should have done like another week or two of 98s, but it is what it is. We are getting 99s now, so that's pretty exciting. Now, whether or not they pick the right cards to do it on, you know, it's up to you. Now, guys, if I do sound kind of weird, or I look kind of weird, my allergies are killing me right now. I just took Claritin. Hopefully, that kicks in. I probably won't kick inside after this video, though. Can't breathe too well. Eyes are a little puffy, but guys, we're going we're gonna to grind through this. It's not really not that big of a deal anyways, but it's definitely annoying. It may look a little weird. But guys, before we get into today's video, we check out all these new power expansion cards and see what we got in our binder because we probably do have a few of them. Make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on button, boys. Come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up, guys. It's already June 9th. That's, that's crazy. Just about two months from now, we will be in the brand new Madden. Just about. So hopefully you guys stick through it. If you don't, that's fine, guys. Don't remember. Just make sure you come back for Madden 21. That's all I ask because that's supposed to be the year, guys. It's supposed to be the year for this channel. So hopefully, you know, make it through this to them. But let's go check this out. Let's go filter through power-ups right now. So, one of the first guys that we do have, let's see what we do got in the binder, of course. So, we should have a few of these guys here. I actually ended up going and purchasing them all on the auction block already, and I was thinking about it. Honestly, every every single time, I happen to have so many power-ups, but every time there happens to be anything new with power-ups, I somehow only don't have that power-up. So, at least, I picked them up. They were pretty cheap, costing about like probably 25 to 30k for all of them. Super, super cheap, guys. Makes them all in this order right here. So the brand new six ones, we got Keanu Neal, Sean Lee, Charles Tillman, Dwight Stevenson, Edgerin James, and John Elway. So let's start from the back here with Keanu Neal. Let's start checking out his stats slowly and get through all of them, each and every one of them. So they should go all the way up to a 99 overall. Here you go. That card actually looks really, really cool. Uh, I'm assuming he's had that already based on one of his cards, but that is really cool 99 overall looking card art. Now here's the issue with him. So he's only got 80 strength. That's, I guess that's decent and okay. 91 agility is not great. 91 speed is very, very slow. So... Here's where the first issue arises. To make Keanu Neal usable, he, let's see, if you put Sprinter and John Madden, he gets up to a 94 speed. That still does not cut it. You would quite literally have to have him on a Falcon's team, team, and even then, he's still kind of slow. So, in my opinion, Keanu Neal is one of the worst ones just off the rip. But let's see if he at least makes up as a safety. 91 tackles low, 93 tackles, uh, 93 jumping's kind of low. 99 pursuit's really good. 88 man coverage actually really great right now. 96 zone's really good because the 88 man with lockdown as well as 96 zone, he will end up with a 91 man and a 96 lockdown 96 zone 99 zone sorry so he will have maxed out zone coverage while being able to man up people so that is pretty good 99 hit power is super solid so and 84 press so guys count on you literally could play cornerback so here's the way i see him being useful if you have him on a falcon team you put this guy at cornerback guys quite literally he could be one of the best cornerbacks in the game on a falcon steam team just because that hit power him and night train lane would wreck people now, safety's not too bad either. I mean, I guess at safety, you could maybe... Like, if you're on a budgety team, guys, he's really not bad. I don't... Okay, so maybe he might not be the worst one, but the speed definitely is killer. I don't know how you guys can really deal with that speed. Unless you're on a more budgety team, then he could just be a complete steal for you in the long run. Sean Lee. Now, he's one of the most hated ones on Twitter by a long shot. They've just been killing Sean Lee cards for years. He used to be one of the glitchy... It's funny, because back in the olden days, like Madden 13, 14, 15-ish, he used to be like that glitchy guy. Like, that guy that you just, like, wanted on your team. He was just really good. And he's just not that anymore. He's done quite a flip when it comes to Sean Lee. And now he's one of the more ass cards that they drop. He's got 81 strength. So that's bad. 86 agility is pretty bad for a linebacker at this point in the year. Especially if you plan to have him like a zone guy. 87 speed is it very, very, very slow. That means his max speed you could probably get him to on a regular team is about a 90. So the only way that could be maybe slightly useful is if he's a pass rusher. But let's see, 92 excel. He has 77 catching. That's decent. 99 tackle is really good. 80 jumping, 92 impact block is good. Now he's got 62 finesse, 62 power move, and 56 finesse move, and a 91 block. So you cannot pass rush at all. He is going to be a pure zone run stopping guy. So you got 99 pursuit, 78 man coverage, so he's not great in man, and 83 zone coverage. So that means his max on zones, I think it's like an 87, 84 max. I'm sorry, 86, 87 max. So that does mean his zone will be good, but it's not phenomenal. Like for me, the only way the Sean Lee card has any kind of use for me at all is that zone's like a 95, and I truthfully can keep him out there. So he's more like a run-stopping, secure tackling linebacker. He's very specific. He's not dynamic at all. And at this point, you really need some kind of level of dynamic on your team to be able to be on. Like right now, like nowadays, you need cards that can do it all because the offense can do it all. Like quarterbacks can run, 
can design run, can scramble, can throw 99 yards. Like It's crazy what they can do, so you need a defense like that. You can't have a guy that situationally can just tackle running backs if they're slow enough to run near him because he's so slow. Next, we got Peanut Tillman. Charles Tillman is the next one. Okay, starting off, 95 speed. That's solid. So he is, at this point, useful because you can get him up to a 98 speed. So that's good. 94 Excel is good. 97 Awareness is really good. 78 Catching is good enough. 80 Tackle. You can never penalize a cornerback for their catching. It is nice to have it. But it's not a death, it's not like the death penalty, you know, like the death wish on the card if they don't have it. 95 jumping is really good. 90 pursuit's decent. 97 play rack's great. 94 man's good. And 98 zone is amazing. So, and he gets 78 hit power and he gets 93 press. So, he does get a pretty solid hit power. Which he's going to be pretty solid in the run game. He can get up to like a 97 man coverage and a 99 zone while having a 99 play rack. Guys, this card is super useful. Now, would I say it's one of my top six cornerbacks in Madden that I have on my God Squad? No, but is he a top 10 cornerback that could be used? Like if you don't have, if you have no coins, could you slot him in and not even realize he's not one of those top guys? Probably. Could you throw him on a theme team, make him one of the best cornerbacks in Madden? Probably. Guys, this card's actually really solid. I really do like this Charles Tillman card. I think he's great personally. On to the next one, we got three more. So that was the, let's see, those were the three defensive. Now we got the three offensive. So we got the White Stevenson Center for the Miami Dolphins. Let's see how his, his card is looking because a 99 center is actually very, very useful. So there we go. Carter's looking at eh, I'm not really a fan of those Ultimate Legend card arts. I mean, the NFL 100 card arts, sorry. 94 strike, kind of low for a center. 81 agility, 79 speed, actually very high for a center. 91 acceleration, great for a center. Now, if you're going to be pulling your center or anything like that, or you have, or you have running plays where he, you know, he has to block a field, it could be very useful. 97 awareness is great. Centers need high awareness. 99 pass block is phenomenal. 95 run block is good. 96 impact block is great. 93 run block power is kind of low. 95 run block finesse kind of low. So his run blocking is kind of low, but again, it guys, this is such a budgety option. If you get if you get zone run on him, you can get his run block finesse and run block up there. It's like a 97, 98 plus John Madden rushing. You could easily make this guy a run block and God minus his power while also simultaneously having a 98 run block, I mean, pass block finesse and a 96 pass block power and 98 injury, 98 stamina, and 94 lead block. He's going to probably be the best pass blocking center while simultaneously being one of the best run blocking centers if you have the right abilities on him. Because getting run blocking up is pretty easy. You gotta have zone run, uh, maxed out, John Madden rushing, and that should be that should pretty much do it. And they're already powered up, of course. I actually really like this card. And at only 44,700 training, this card could be quite a steal. I mean, you gotta do this one too. So let's say it's gonna be like probably 67,000 to upgrade all the way, considering you have this done already, or you just pass, this is all cheap at this point. It'll probably cost you, according to cost of training right now, like 60K. To get him to get him to his final form at the end of this which is honestly such a steal for a 99 overall center i really like that the white stevenson card will be making my top three more than likely here edger and james let's go check him out as a running back he has to have some he has some high standards to live up to this some really great running backs out of madden already so let's see oh where'd i fly down to okay so same price as always so let's start off with this 87 strength actually really good 87 strength is a great for running back 97 agility really good but he does not get human joystick i believe which does kind of suck there uh, he is a he is an evasive back, but I, I don't remember if you need 99 or if you're an evasive with four slots You need 95 He may get it. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not up to date on the whole agility stuff with the uh, running backs I saw Saquon have been waiting to actually pick up that bow when he gets down a little bit So I'm not really able to see the uh, the whole thing with him But he's got 96 speed which is solid because that does mean he gets 99 speed 96 excel is great 82 catching so he's like a Saquon type running back so far. He can catch he can carry with 97 carry 90 jumping, 93 trucking, 96 elusiveness, 98 ball carry vision, 95 stiff arm, 88 spin, 95 juke move. Guys, this card's super solid. He can catch in traffic. He can route run. He got a 97 break tackle. I really like this running back. He's a do it all type of back. Um, kind of reminds me of Christian McCaffrey if he was a little bit faster. He can catch very well. He can do everything really well. He's fast. He can break tackles. I really do like him. And he's partially a power back at the same time. Guys, this is a do it all type of back. I really like this card. Probably going to be my top three as well. And then for the final card, let's see who we got. We got John Elway. Now this one was I kind of I kind of wanted this guy to be last, being that he is a quarterback and all. Let's see, is he gonna make it among the elites here? 79 agility, that's bad. That's real bad. 82 speed, that's bad. Especially consider, and he's a strong arm quarterback, so I don't even know if his final slot will even get him to escape artist. Maybe 82 excel, not great. 98 throw power, that's amazing. That's that's a check. Let's see, let's see. 95 throw short, bad. 94 throw mid, bad. 95 throw deep, bad. 97 throw in the run, good. And now, guys, that's not that that stat's bad. It's the fact that we are in June and every other quarterback literally can get close to 99 passing. I'd rather stay with my Mahomes at this point. Like, my Mahomes, I still have him. 
97 flash, 87 break attack, and 95 thunder pressure. I think this card's ass, actually. I really don't think he's good. Um, passing wise, there's better passers. Running wise, there's way better runners. And to make it even worse, there are guys who are better passers and runners on the same card. I'm going to have to pass. I'd much rather take a free gold and take a quarterback, especially being the most important position on the field. Now, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy to leave this ranking. Uh, coming in in last place, going to be Sean Lee, coming in number six. Too slow. Too, too much of a specialist. Coming in in second to last place is going to be Keanu Neal. Has great stats, way too slow, can only make certain teams. Coming in at number four is going to be John Elway. Personally, guys, not great. He's still a good quarterback, but I have much better options. Coming in at number three. Now, these are the final three. I'm going to have to put Charles Tillman. I think Charles Tillman's really good. He's one of the better cornerbacks in Madden, but on the contrary, he's not the best and at this point, there's better options, although he's great. Coming in number two is going to be Dwight Stevenson, guys. You get a 99 overall center, super, super cheap, great stats, kind of a steal. And number one is Edger and James. Those stats impress me. He can catch, he can route run, he can break tackles, he's a power back, he's a base. If he gets human joystick, all the better. We do not know yet. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you used the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Peace.